The Squats, also known as Homo sapiens rotundus, are one of the many strains of abhuman that are found throughout the Imperium of Man. As implied by their name, the Squats are a diminutive abhuman strain, boasting a form that is both shorter and stockier than that sported by a typical human. Despite their small size, however, the Squats demonstrate incredible toughness and are deceptively strong for their size, allowing these abhumans to physically overpower many a foe in combat. In addition, Squats also demonstrate a lifespan that far exceeds that of a typical human, with these abhumans living on average up to 300 years old, although some have been known to live far in excess of 800. During a dark age of technology, the ancestors of the Squats would settle upon a series of high gravity worlds that lay within close proximity to the galactic core, establishing a series of mining colonies and industrial outposts upon the many worlds that were abundant with mineral wealth within this particular region of space. These worlds, which would come to be known within the Squat sagas as the Home Worlds, would form the foundation of the future Squat Empire. Because of how inhospitable the services of these worlds tended to be, the colonists would construct vast subterranean facilities, which included living accommodations and hydroponic gardens, allowing them to be entirely self-sufficient. The fact that these colonists were self-sufficient would prove fortuitous, for with the onset of the Age of Strife, the homeworlds would become cut off from the rest of humanity thanks to the numerous warp storms that erupted throughout the galaxy. However, thanks in part to their close proximity to one another, contact between each of the home worlds was able to be established and maintained, which in turn allowed the colonists to begin organising the mutual defence of their territory against external threats such as Orc Raiders, transforming much of their mining equipment into devastating weapons of war. Thanks to this combination of living upon high gravity worlds, subterranean lifestyle and eventual isolation from the rest of the galaxy, the populations of the home worlds would evolve to become shorter, stockier and tougher, until they evolved into an entirely new strain of humanity which would come to be known as the Squats. When the Age of Strife finally came to an end, the worlds of the Squat Empire would eventually be rediscovered by the Imperium of Man during the early years of the Great Crusade. While the Emperor of Mankind desired to reintegrate the Squat homeworlds into the Imperial Fold, the Squats were noted to be both prideful and stubbornly independent, resulting in the two factions coming into conflict with one another. The resulting wars between the Imperium and the Squat Empire were rumoured to have grown so intense that it is said to have forced the Imperium to develop the Mark III Iron Pattern of Power Armour for the Legione Astartes in response to the aggression, ingenuity and tenacity of these diminutive abhumans, as well as the overall lack of battlefield cover within their tunnels and underground facilities, although the veracity of such claims remains hotly debated even to this day. Eventually, however, hostilities between the two factions would come to an end, and treaties would be established between the Imperium and the Squat Empire. The Squats would be allowed to retain much of their autonomy and independence, and in exchange, the homeworlds would trade much of their mineral wealth with the Imperium, allow a number of their warriors to be drafted into the Imperial Army, and even grant the Martian Mechanicum access to some of their more advanced technologies which have become lost to the wider Imperium. This would allow the Squats to live a relatively peaceful existence for thousands of years, save for the occasional raid from Xenos pirates, although some of these abhumans would band together to form mercenary groups in order to seek fame and fortune. However, in late M41, the Squats would be driven to the brink of extinction due to the homeworlds coming under assault from an unspecified Tyranid High Fleet tendril. While a number of surviving Squats would find themselves being integrated into the Imperium following this series of events, the race would officially be classified as extinct within Imperial records. One particularly noteworthy instance of the Administratum declaring the Squats to be extinct, in spite of evidence to the contrary, would come from the novel Draco, with the following quote from an Imperial archivist simply designated as R. As to the abhuman, the thread is cut. The accursed high fleet of the Tyranid put paid to that line too long ago. I cannot believe, however, that even a renegade inquisitor, if that is what this Draco really was, would tolerate the presence of such a disgusting mutation. 
While the general consensus is that the Squat Empire no longer exists, is it possible that such a commonly held belief could in fact be false? Instead, is it possible that the Squat Empire continues to endure even to this day? Despite officially being classified as extinct, it is well known that a number of Squats, as mentioned earlier, are active throughout the Imperium. One of the more famous individuals in this regard is that of Grendel Grendelson, who operates as a fully licensed bounty hunter upon the Imperial Hive world of Necromunda. Appropriately enough, it would be from this world in particular that rumours would first begin to circulate regarding the continued existence of the Squat Empire. In 916 M41, as detailed within the 3rd edition Necromunda rulebook, Garontius Helmor, the planetary governor of Necromunda, would be visited by envoys of both the Eldari and the Squats from the League of Norgia, who had come to warn Lord Helmor of an impending darkness about to descend upon the Imperium. While Helmor believed that such tales about gods and demons were little more than childish stories, he nonetheless allowed his guests to deliver their warnings before bidding them farewell out of politeness. The various leagues of the Squats, which include that of the aforementioned Norgir, were themselves comprised of countless strongholds and settlements throughout the Squat Empire, effectively fulfilling the role of nations or otherwise serving as the cornerstones of a Squat's cultural heritage. The leagues themselves can also vary in size, with the largest of these, such as the League of Kapala, being comprised of over 3,000 different settlements. The League of Norgir is itself noted for being one that is situated relatively close to both the Imperial Throne World of Terror and Necromunda. Because the League of Norgir was noted to still exist at this specific point in time, this would initially appear to support the notion that the Squat Empire does indeed continue to exist in some form or another. However, it is important to note that, as mentioned earlier, the Squat Empire was rumoured to have been destroyed by an unspecified High Fleet Tendril during one of the first Tyrannic Wars. While the Squats may very well have withstood or even defeated any potential assault launched by High Fleet Behemoth, which was officially documented as entering the galaxy in 741M41, and the first official contact between the Imperium and the Tyranids, this does not necessarily rule out the possibility that the Squat Empire could have fallen at some point following the onset of the Second Tyrannic War, which took place in 993M41 with the arrival of High Fleet Kraken. Nonetheless, additional evidence exists which appears to not only support the possibility that the Squat Empire continues to endure, but that it remains a military force to be reckoned with. Within the book Psychic Awakening Pariah, an unidentified Adeptus Mechanicus vessel that had been travelling en route to a way station situated close to the galactic core would be disabled and presumably destroyed after being struck by some form of powerful graphitic weapon. The vessel would transmit a partially garbled message detailing the identity of their attacker before falling silent, with the message reading as follows. Repeat, we are 42 days galactic due west of Trajax Void Station approaching subsector 47 Grendel, periphery of galactic core. We were caught by some form of weaponized gravitational field and interrogative. What's that? By the Omnisaya. Nice emanation is originated from that vessel. Attend the markings of its hull. This cannot be. Official archival dogma cites them being rendered extinct. But empirical evidence cannot be denied, no matter how theoretical its truth. That vessel belongs to the squad. While certain details have indeed been omitted from this transmission, it is nonetheless possible to discern a number of key facts from it which appear to heavily imply that the Squat Empire does indeed still exist in some form. The first of which is that the ship that attacked the Adeptus Mechanicus was encountered within close proximity to the Galactic Core, where the Squat homeworlds are themselves known to be located. The name of the very subsector that the ship had entered, Subsector Grendel, could very well have been named after the League of Grendel, which is one of the more powerful and influential of the Squat Leagues, although this could admittedly be coincidental. 
The second key fact is that the Adeptus Mechanicus were under the impression that whatever manner of foe had attacked them was believed to have been driven to extinction at some point in time. This, in addition to the final words of the message, stating that the ship belonged to a race beginning with the letters S, Q and U, would also heavily indicate that such a vessel did indeed belong to the Squats. While this may not necessarily mean that the Squat Empire retains the same level of strength or influence that it once held within the galaxy, it would nonetheless imply that these abhumans have a number of worlds and shipyards at their disposal. As such, the current incarnation of the Squat Empire could potentially range from a single planetary system close to the galactic core, a subsector, or possibly even an entire sector of space, if not more. But if the Squat Empire does indeed endure, then how could such a fact continue to remain unknown throughout the wider Imperium? This could potentially be due to the unreliability and near ineffectual slowness of the Administratum in regards to updating and maintaining the Imperium's archives. As such, it is possible that the various clerks of the Administratum may indeed be somewhat aware of the Squat Empire's continued existence, but simply have yet to update any official records in this regard. Alternatively, perhaps the Imperium simply assumed that the Squats had been rendered extinct by the High Fleets and simply never bothered to confirm such assumptions. Although if this were indeed the case, then such actions or lack thereof could be considered borderline negligent of the Administratum. But then again, perhaps the majority of the Squat Empire was indeed destroyed, leaving those Squats that had, for one reason or another, refused to integrate themselves into the Imperium to painstakingly rebuild their home worlds and empire from the ground up. Given that Squat society is in itself mostly, if not entirely subterranean, then it is certainly possible that any orbital scans conducted by Imperial or Adeptus Mechanicus exploratory fleets may have been incapable of detecting the underground strongholds of these abhumans, especially if the Squats were able to develop a way to mask the various energy signatures produced by their settlements in some way. Given the independent and xenophobic nature of the Squats, it's possible that these abhumans may have been content to live their lives in isolation and solitude, secluding themselves away from the wider galaxy. However, given the creation of the colossal warp rift known as the Secretrix Melodictum, and the subsequent increase in chaotic activity, the Squats may have had no choice but to prepare for war once more. As such, the military brotherhoods of the surviving Squat Leagues may once again be forced to take to the field of battle in order to defend their homeworlds and their kin from any and all who dare threaten them. What do you think? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.